Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another amazing episode on the Unleashing Potentials podcast. My name is Bernadette Desir, and I'm your host. And joining me today is Dark Wolf. How are you? It's an honor and a pleasure to be here. Yes, happy to have you. Where about are you? Where in the world I'm are you? I'm in Southwest Missouri. Oh, okay, nice. Have you always lived there? No, I've traveled. Um, see, it's, it's going to be hard to explain about my life mm -hmm. and my past because the one that's here now is not the one that was here mm. yeah. um in 2021 i had open heart surgery and i died and i was sent back mm. yeah but the one that died died mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, i'm a walking they call it's a call the walk-in spirit yeah yeah yeah. Oh, I've heard of that. I've heard of walk-ins. That's so cool. Um, yeah, I'm excited to hear more of, of your story. Um, prior to that, um, what were some signs that you were experiencing and what led to, you know, you having to get surgery then, if you don't mind sharing? Well, I didn't know I had a problem with my heart. Um, I've been to several doctors. Uh, I, you know, I'd never been diagnosed with heart problems. And then for three days, I was having real bad pain in my back between my shoulder blades and my neck. And I thought it was my shoulder because I've tore my rotator cuff a few times. And for three days, I fought the pain. And the third day, I had to go to the doctor. I, I couldn't fight it no more. I knew there was something wrong with me. Mm -hmm. And... I went to the doctor and they did x-rays and everything. And she sent me home. She said, well, it, it's just a pinched nerve in your shoulder. Mm -hmm. So I went home and uh, it got worse. And I was talking to a buddy of mine, a neighbor of mine that was coming over and hanging out. Mm -hmm. And I told him, I said, uh, go get my roommate. I said, I I'm having a heart attack. And mm -hmm. he went and got my roommate and they drove me to the hospital and um uh, my heart was quitting mm -hmm. uh, the uh i had really low beats per minute i think it was 20 30 beats per minute um the doctors kept me in the hospital for i think it was a week or a few days before the surgery mm -hmm. and before i went into surgery the night before, a dove came and it sat on my window seal, and it looked at me, and that was a message to me. Yeah, uh, I know a lot of cultures believe, and I, uh, my ancestors believe that um, the animals are messengers. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know exactly what the message was. I knew I knew I was going to be mm -hmm. all right. You know that that to me, that's what that message was. But I didn't know what was going to happen the next morning. Yeah. Um, they gave me the vancomycin, and uh, they was fixing to do the open heart surgery, and I flatlined. Mm. I had a severe allergic reaction to the vancomycin, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and that's what started my journey. Wow. Uh, yeah. 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 It's, it's been. <laughs> It's been four years now, and it's been a crazy journey. It's been a crazy road. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for sharing. That is a wild journey, that's for sure. And uh, yeah, how was your healing, uh, or how was it, you know, going through that? And then we'll talk about the dove that you saw. That That's a significant um, message, and it's obvious at the time that you were going through what you were going through. Yeah. Um, I remember right before I went out, a tear went down my face. I think I knew I was going to die. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I always said that I was going to die young. And really, I did. I'm reborn. I was sent back. Mm -hmm. um, everything changed. I came back different. The way I seen things, my understanding, uh, visions. I, I mean, when I came back, my life changed. Mm -hmm. My relationship fell apart. Uh, I was on, I, you know, everything just crashed. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Yeah. It was a really hard situation. It was really tough. Mm -hmm. It was hard to get through not only the medical situation, but, you know, uh, my relationship suffered. Uh, that was that was part of the path. And now I understand that. But then I didn't. Mm -hmm. And I still don't understand it all, but I understand more than I did. Yeah. But uh, there's a price to pay for everything, you know, and uh, we have to. I was told that we must walk through the illusion and darkness so that we may become the light and help others through their darkness. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I was given orders and I was sent back. Mm. That's a powerful message for them to send you back with. Um, when you were there, when you when your soul or spirit left your body, uh, what did you see? What did you experience? Because it's NDEs are very different um, from person to person. What was your experience? To me, it, it, uh, it was like a restful room, like like a, a almost like a a waiting room. Oh. Only it was dark. It was quiet. It was peaceful. It was comfortable. Mm -hmm. But it was like a waiting room. I knew I wasn't dead. I knew I wasn't dying. Uh, I knew certain things. Mm -hmm. But also, I could hear a voice. Mm -hmm. I didn't see nobody. I, di I didn't see nothing. But I could hear a voice. And the voice told me now was the time for me to come out of the shadows and stand with my people. Now was for the time for me to share my visions and understanding and my people will understand what I speak and join me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I was told now is the time for change. Mm -hmm. And uh, that my people would find me. So I started Mystic Wolf Tribe on Facebook. And I've been doing that for four years, you know, just sharing my vision, sharing understanding, sharing what they share with me. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's incredible. That's amazing. Uh, I've heard of the waiting room too. Maybe someone who's listening, they're like, what's a waiting room? Is it like a doctor place where you wait? I've heard of that from other people who's had NDE experiences. And it's... A uh, waiting room to me, it's just like a... The best way I can explain it, because any other way, it's just like a dark room, um, just a peaceful place. Yeah. But you're not, you know, you don't, I guess it depends on uh, where you are in life, mm -hmm. is my understanding of it. It's what you believe will happen. Um, yeah. I didn't have no set beliefs. So I didn't have a set experience. Yeah. Um, and then when I came in, when this one came in and, and that one left, that opened up all kinds of information and uh, different abilities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I was taught how to heal. I, at first, I had to heal myself. That was the that was the that was the mission. That was the task is to heal myself, and then through doing that, I would learn how to help others. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's my understanding of it. Yeah, that's amazing. So, how have you been healing yourself and also helping others heal? I share them with I share with them the information they've shared with me. Mm -hmm. um, we can use thought, will, and intent to heal our bodies. We can speak to our innate and stop and reverse the age process. Um, activate our DNA. There's so much that we can do that's been lost to us for centuries. Yeah. And some of us are starting to awaken. The ones of us that are, are to that point mm -hmm. are starting to awaken and remembering that knowledge. And using it. And uh, my understanding is we are the chosen one. We're the ones that was chosen by the ancestors to be the change in this world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can see through the illusions and indoctrination. 
we can see through the deception. Mm -hmm. And we, we know that if we unite, we can change things. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Mm -hmm. And that was one of my missions. That's what I was told to do. I was told to unite my people. Mm -hmm. uh, I was given three different missions, but that was one. Mm -hmm. uh, to share my visions and understanding, to unite my people. Mm -hmm. And to help who I can. Yeah. 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 That's amazing. Yeah. Um, I know what a walk-in is. I don't know if I'm a walk-in or not. Who were you uh prior to the walk-in? What what did you notice I changed? I can't say I was ever normal because I wasn't. You know, I had visions when I was a yeah. kid. Yeah. Uh I knew I was different. Mm -hmm. I just didn't know, I didn't understand it. Mm -hmm. um, I could do things I knew things that I was, I shouldn't knew you know there, there, there was several different things I could do I was <clears throat> it was really hot one day no breeze humidity's high here you know it was miserable mm -hmm. and I was told I was shown in my mind a native man and he was speaking to the sky and the wind raised mm -hmm. and I heard in my head you can do it too try and I did, and, and the wind raised. I can speak to the wind. Mm -hmm. And I can call in the wind. Elder Sister Wind is one of my best friends. Uh, I work with her all the time. I speak to her. Mm -hmm. uh, Elder Sister Water, Grandfather Sky, Mother Earth, mm -hmm. the animal nations. You know, once you've been there and come back, you understand that we're all family. Yeah. We're mm -hmm. all connected in this great web of life. Mm -hmm. And to do that, that breaks a lot of the illusions and a lot of, a lot of the divisions and a lot of the man-made uh, separation. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was all created by man and it'll be destroyed by the same mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the old shall fall away but we've been sent here to rebuild the new and to lead a new way a new path yeah 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 you're right and yeah. the ones who are awakening and the ones who understand what i'm saying you are the chosen ones you are the resistance mm. mm -hmm. yeah yeah I'm awake <laughs> and it's uh, there's a type of freedom and peace in that awakeness. And also it comes with a price, a hefty one that we have to be responsible with it because we cannot be like the people who are not awake. No, because we have the power to destroy or create. Mm -hmm. We have the power to heal or destroy. I mean, we're far more powerful than people realize. Yeah. I've built myself from two open heart surgeries back to back. And I'm standing here, I'm sitting here with you today. Mm -hmm. And I'm better and stronger than before. I don't have all my energy back yet, but I will. You know, it takes time mm -hmm. and you have to rebuild. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, and that's confirmation the siren's going off. Mm hmm. Ironically, I was a firefighter. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Go by. yeah, yeah. Can you tell us about your heritage, your roots? I don't know how to say it properly. Cher Cherokee? Is that how you uh, say Cherokee, it? Cherokee, uh, well, you know, how it's spelled now is not the original spelling. And I can't even really spell it, but I'm learning Cherokee, and that was part of coming back. Mm -hmm. um, I was led to learn about the native language mm -hmm. and I've been teaching myself as I go um, that's one thing I'm, I'm trying to do is to teach myself the ancestors ways because I'm not seen by a tribe I'm not recognized by a tribe oh you're not okay I was born on the outside and there's a reason for that uh, I was told that I had to be born half white and half native mm -hmm. 
because I can stand with both. Mm. Yeah. And that's uh, something I'm I'm gonna go into later. Mm -hmm. But I was told that it was it was chosen that way because I can stand with both. Mm -hmm. And I can speak to both. Yeah. And that's part of uniting my people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. There's so much power in that because when we can relate, we can help more people. That, that's you know, incredible. That's my purpose is to help my people. You know, if, if I wasn't here to help my people, I wouldn't be here. Mm. I was sent back for a reason. I was chosen to be here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I know that. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so you talk a lot about the ancestors. Who are they to you? Is it ancestors as in lineage, which everybody has? And yeah, who are they to you? I'm I'm really curious to know more. Well, if you would have asked me that before my awakening, I would have said just my, uh, you know, just the ones of my bloodline, mm. the native, uh, the, the Cherokee, uh, the Blackfoot, and the Irish mm. but when you know what I know and you've, you've you've been shown what I've been shown all of them are our relatives all of them are our ancestors um all the kings and queens gods and goddesses mm -hmm. animals all of them are ancestors we're all family we're all related the star nations mm-hmm our ancestors yeah, yeah. Uh, they're our brothers and sisters mm -hmm. yeah 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 so it, it, if you ask me now i would say everybody who's come before me mm -hmm. whoever wants to work with me yeah i get information from i'm pretty sure several different ones because sometimes it, I'm not religious at all, but uh, some of the scriptures that, that, that has been used uh, comes to me. Mm -hmm. And these are messages from, I believe, the Ascended Masters. Um, that's my understanding of it anyway. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Uh, can you tell us more about your name, Dark Wolf? When did that name came about? And what does it mean to you and for you? Well, back when I was a kid, I had a real high fever. And I was hallucinating. Mm -hmm. And I was in a forest and there was three gray wolves and one black wolf. And I was the black wolf. And I was sparring with them. I was teaching them. We was running through the forest, and I was teaching them. Mm -hmm. And we were sparring. We were wrestling and fighting. And uh, then later on in life, before my awakening, actually, um, somebody, I, I knew I was a wolf spirit. I knew I was connected to them. You know, I knew that, the Cherokee tribe is the wolf tribe. Um, there's so many things that I've connected now that, that I understand it, but I've always had an affinity for dogs, canines, you know, the, the, they were my best friends. Mm -hmm. And I understood them. And they understand me mostly. Um, yeah. yeah. It didn't come until I came back that uh, Dark Wolf, Dark Wolf was my music name, first of all. Uh, that was before I died and came back. But uh, I've always been the Black Wolf. And there's a reason for that. Everybody says the Black Sheep of the family. Well, I was the Black Wolf. Uh, we're different. Mm -hmm. We stand different. We believe different. We walk different. Yeah. We're not here to be like everybody else, and we can't be. And everybody knows the um, the native uh, story 
about the two wolves that lie within. Well, there's the, the dark wolf, and then there's the light wolf, the white wolf. And there's the black wolf and the white wolf. And the one who wins, the one you become, is the one you feed. Mm -hmm. Well, that past life, I fed the, the black one. And I think that's more of a symbol, not only to the people that I'm here for change, but it was a symbol to me as well. Mm -hmm. uh, to re help me remember what not to be. Mm -hmm. uh, because I, I didn't always walk this path. I wasn't always who I am now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I was a different person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Do you miss that person you were? Not really, no. Mm. Now, there's things I miss, um, like physically, uh, going through the surgeries and everything, I miss having my strength back and stuff. It'll come back. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a process. You, 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 When you rebuild yourself, it takes time, but it will come back. Mm -hmm. um, but the only things I, that I can't really say I miss any of it because I didn't... I wasn't a good person. Mm -hmm. um, by any stretch to the imagination, I helped people, yes. I, I protected people, you know. I, I did a lot of good, but I wasn't a good person. Mm -hmm. And that's why I died. I, I, had, I had a price to pay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And for yeah. there's a price for everything, like I said. Mm -hmm. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, would you say that it was your soul path to choose the path that you, you did and the decisions you've made so far? Yeah, it's my destiny. Um, I believe it's my destiny and I see that it's my destiny. Mm -hmm. See, there's a difference between destiny and fate. Mm -hmm. Destiny is set. Fate we make. Wow. Fate we create. Yeah. Our destiny is different. Our destiny can't be changed. Mm -hmm. It can be altered by our choices, but it can be changed. Our fate, we create. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, that's that's my understanding of it, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for sharing. Um, did you used to play music? Because you said Dark Wolf was your music name. Do you still play music? I write and record. Uh, well, I'm not set up to do it right now. I've been homeless and different things, and um, it's all part of my path. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I did write and record my own music. Uh, if you look up Dark Wolf's fan page, that's my work. Mm -hmm. I'm also on YouTube. I did one album before I died. Mm. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. And I haven't got back into it, but yes, I still write it. Um, I write my own lyrics and it, it all comes to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I've got several I've written. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, because I, I can sort of sense or feel that or see you putting music together, blending it with your Cherokee uh, ancestors with instruments and just the land singing. I don't know if that makes I sense. I thought about doing that. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. I haven't got I haven't got to that point yet. And then when I came back, um doing what I'm doing now is more important. Um uh, the tribe and, and uniting the people and, and doing what I'm doing now, sharing the visions and understanding, that's more important than my music really. So mm -hmm. I've I've kind of put my music on the back burner. Mm -hmm. But I still write. Um uh, I just haven't got to record mm, yeah yeah that's awesome that's really cool so what message do you or your ancestors have for the world the biggest one i can give you uh one of the biggest is unite as one we are powerful but united we are unstoppable mm, well said that's that's one of the one of the biggest. You know, there's several messages they've gave me in the past four years. Mm -hmm. uh, but unity. Mm -hmm. And now's the time for change. Now's the time to stand up and unite and uh, be that change. Because that's what we're here to do. 
Yeah. Yeah. We're here to be the change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. I was told what we do now shapes the future of Mother Earth and the next seven generations ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What we do now decides how our future is going to go. Mm hmm. And we already know that we've chose to be here. We already know that we've chose to fight this battle. So now we have to stand up and we have to unite. Mm -hmm. And we have to be the change that we want to see in this world. I was told it's not going to come from politicians. It's not going to come from the leaders of the, peop of the nations. It's going to come from the people. Mm. Yeah. And I was told, and this brings up the next part of what I was telling you earlier. I was told that uh, we're going to lead this. Uh, we're, we're where it starts. We're where the old ends and we're where the new starts. Mm -hmm. And uh, in 2028, I'm running for president. If I can get enough people to back me, and I know the Star Nations and the ancestors back me, we can be the change. We can make changes, but we need to stick together. We need to work together. We need to share understanding and wisdom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's how we create a better world and a better future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. That would be awesome. I'm sure you, you'd make a great president. That's really cool. Thank you. I'm honored. Mm -hmm. I do everything I can every day to make the ancestors proud and to help my people. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that's important to me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because if I do those two things, then the rest takes care of itself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's and true. like I said, you know, I've walked a hard road. I've lived a hard life, but I've always been provided for. I've always been watched out for. They walk with us. But they don't only walk with us, they live on through us. We represent them, and I try to do that the best I can every day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, from talking to you, I can tell and see that you, you're doing that. Um, I know we don't know each other personally, but um, I feel that I can be myself with you, and I can talk about you know, spiritual stuff. You are a leader. And you're empowering people. And I love, love that you don't judge. You include everybody. That's one thing I felt right away, being part of your group and talking to you right now. I, I don't feel different. I don't feel judged. I feel accepted. And that is an incredibly powerful gift to have and to give other people. It's priceless, really. So thank you. It's an honor and a pleasure to help in any way in my power. And it's an honor and a pleasure to stand with you and serve with you in this world and in this time. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of people see me as as different and as a leader. I don't. I don't see myself as different. I see myself as the same as my people. Mm -hmm. We're all on different levels of the same game. That's all, you know. Um, and the ones who do have the wisdom and information need to share it. Mm -hmm. not squander it because we're here to help our people. We're not here to use it for ourselves. It'll help us. Yes, but we're not here to use it for that. Yeah. We're here to change things and we're here to help our people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I always tell people we're all walking home. It sounds negative yeah. and positive. It depends on how people take it, but we're all walking home. We came down well, here for this life. Reality. Yeah, yeah. What you, how you see it is how you'll, how, how, how it is to you. But mm -hmm. like I said, you know, the great circle of life is never broken. Mm -hmm. Death is an illusion. It's um, a man-made construct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. And now's the time to break those illusions, and now's the time to share the truth. Mm -hmm. And 
that's what the ancestors want is the truth to be told and the things that happened in the past we're supposed to learn from it and build a better future mm -hmm. we've already lived those times we've been here i've been here many times mm -hmm. um pretty sure that i was here long I, well i wasn't here but i was somewhere else long before i was here um mm -hmm. i've been around a long time i was told you know i was told that i'm an ancient um, I've been around a long time. Yeah, I believe you. <laughs> yeah, because and I have. I have seen clips of myself. They've showed me clips of myself as Anubis in ancient Egypt. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I don't know the full deal of it, but they've showed me clips of it. So that, you know, that was one of my lives. But I've seen clips of several lives. Mm -hmm. Um. I've been here many times. If you've ever watched the movie Highlander. I think I've heard of it. The show. Mm -hmm. the yeah. Truth in all things. And they, they lay it out pretty well for you on that. Yeah. Um, we have people in, in all levels of things. And that includes Hollywood. We They do get us messages. And these messages that we see. The reason we see it is because it's for us to understand. It was breadcrumbs left. Mm. yeah yeah highlander if you watch the show and you listen to the music i believe it was queen that did the song that started um we are the princes of the universe we are the kings and queens of old that's been reincarnated in this world and in this time mm -hmm. yeah uh, we're the gods and goddesses of old we've been here many times we're in a different form and a different suit, but we're the same being. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the ones who understand that will also understand how powerful we are working together. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I I've been here so many times. It's, it's like a really bad joke. <laughs> it really is. It is. Yeah. Cause I've had visions I, of transformer you know those massive robots i've had visions of that they, they, it, they... it's really strange yeah it's really strange because truth is stranger than fiction mm -hmm. it is uh yeah i've come to understand that in the last four years uh the truth is stranger than fiction mm -hmm. when i speak to a lot of people they don't understand what i say and i used to think that maybe there was something wrong with me mm. But there's not. I'm just different. I, I'm. I was told when I was a kid in a vision. I was told when I was a child that uh, I walk among men, but I'm not one of them. And I didn't understand that for a long time. Mm -hmm. I knew I was different, but I didn't understand what that meant. But when I died and I come back, I was told that I died a man and came back a divine being. Mm. Yeah. Now I understand that. And I have 444 four, four in the lines of my left hand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you look at it real close, there's three fours in my left hand. Yeah, I don't know what that means, but I just find it odd because I, I do use um, an angel numbers and I, the messages. And I know the truth in them. Mm -hmm. and the 444 is in my left hand so i would i think that's cool that is cool yeah uh, yeah yeah and um yeah and not everyone's supposed to understand us or will i know i'm an oddball and i i'm i'm i love it it's not that they're not supposed different. to <laughs> yeah it's not that they're not supposed to it's that they can't mm yeah we're on a different uh wavelength a different frequency we uh, we're on a higher level until they get their soul gets to that level to where it awakens they're not going to understand what we understand we had to go through the same thing yeah we had to go through lifetime after lifetime after lifetime to get what we have now mm -hmm. and they will too 
Yeah. Just because their body is older doesn't mean that their soul is. Mm. That's true. The soul. Never and until is. they get there, until mm-hmm. they get there, they won't understand. That's true. Yeah. 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 I agree. And that's why we must continue to walk in love and show them love and empathy and don't condemn people for not understanding what they haven't experienced or seen. Because it, it, it doesn't matter what belief you go with. Mm-hmm. It was created by man. <laughs> yeah. I was told by the ancestors that it was weaponized and used against man. Mm-hmm. To keep us asleep, to keep us powerless and in line, using fear. Mm. Uh, this this ain't from me. This is from them. Yeah. So if they're telling me that there's something not right, mm-hmm. which means these systems need to be looked at, and they need to be rethought. Mm-hmm. How much bloodshed has happened? How much division has happened? Mm-hmm. How much destruction has happened over beliefs? Mm. Yeah, 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 I agree. And um, I, well, I might get in trouble, but I don't care. Men, men created religion. And yeah. uh, based on what they believe, they add to it and create the vision. But um like I said, we're walking home. When we get home, we'll find out that we're all the same. And yeah, when, because we, when we hurt, we hurt other people. We're hurting ourselves. Yes, because we're all one. Mm-hmm. We're one people, one nation, one world. The Red mm-hmm. River of Life flows within all beings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. From the flea to the eagle. Mm-hmm. That blood, that Red River of Life flows within all beings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we have to bring the truth out and we have to be the chain Mm -hmm. and we have to stand up for these changes Mm -hmm. for the ancestors because if they chose us there's a reason yeah you know, I ask myself all the time, why they choose me? There's 8 billion people in the world. <laughs> me too. <I> mean, <laughs> yeah. I don't have an answer for that. Mm. I was chosen. Well, they said that they used a, an analogy that I'm like a special forces. Um, I don't understand it all. Mm-hmm. But. The ones that are here now were special forces. They're special forces. We're their commanders. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're the boots on the ground. We command armies behind us. Mm-hmm. And once we realize that, we realize we have star nations, we have ange- angelic beings, we have gods and goddesses, we have a lot of support behind us. Yeah. We have other realms that walk with us. I mean, we can't lose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Yeah. 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 And uh, that's why they tell us, you know, now is the time to stand in our divine might. Mm-hmm. Now is the time to be led by divine sight and to be the change. Yeah. Yeah. And that's one message that they've gave me heavily. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah thank you for sharing um as we wrap up this amazing episode is there anything else you'd like to leave us with i just hope this message gets out to the ones who understand it mm. yeah. because things are going to be changing real quick and we have to work together. We we have to see past the indoctrination and the division and the illusions, the deceptions, but unite, share understanding, and be the change. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Thank you, thank you. And uh, where can people find you if they want to talk to you and connect with you? You can uh, my cell phone number. Uh, you know, I have a cell phone number, which you can get a hold of me uh, through my my Facebook page, Wolf Knight. There's Mystic Wolf Tribe. Mm -hmm. uh, you can text me, call me. Uh, my number is one four one seven four one six one three eight zero. You can get a hold of me on Messenger anytime. My phone's always on. I'm on call twenty four seven. You know, if my people need me, they can get a hold of me anytime. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Other than that, I mean, I have all, all different kinds of platforms, but Facebook and my phone is the best one to get a hold of me on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And okay. also, you know, if you understand what we're talking about, Mystic Wolf Tribe is open to all. It's open to all nations and tribes, all backgrounds, all walks of life, because it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. uh, what what I'm here to do is to unite the light warriors, the uh, the healers, um, the chosen ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, what a good conversation this was. Uh, thank you so much for all you do. Thank you for sharing and thank you for uniting us all. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. You're so welcome. I look forward to uh, hopefully speaking more with you. Yes, yes, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, thank you.